If you want to talk about the details of it? Like I said, I've been successful in going from from almost nothing to getting everything that I've ever wanted in lots of ways. Um, one example is uh, I practically willed myself with my uh, fierce um, optimism and knowing that I would have a child at 44, even though the odds were really against it. And I had tried and tried. I still never gave up. But then I ended up somehow in this place that's very lonely. So... It's by feeling all these feelings, like, as, um, I can't you know, explain it. You know, let's talk like about... Like leaving what, so many who don't think the there, same. There, there, that's it. Or, so let's talk about what loneliness is. And so, now this speaks to what we were not talking about. Not lonely, like I'm happy myself, but I want more people who understand, I guess. I can't. Well, we're going to begin by saying something that we think is extremely clever. You may not like it at all, but... <laughs> It's so clever, we must say it. And then, and then we'll show you what to do about it. Okay. And so we want to say you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Exactly. <laughs> and, then, and then we want to say to you that it, it speaks to what we were talking about just a little bit ago, where most of you are trained to be aware of the response that you're getting from others. And so you have this sort of duality going on where you innately know that it is your work to come into alignment with who you are and you've been working to do that and been seeing the success of that alignment on so many occasions that now you really know it you've you've got mm -hmm. it yeah and you can never step back from that understanding but then you find yourself feeling lonely because the majority of people don't get what you get don't know what you know can't relate to you it's sort of what we were talking about here in this place of freedom and love and appreciation most of the population is is not steadily there and that's why so often when pe it's interesting when people see someone living something that they want to live it sort of aggravates their awareness that they're mm -hmm. not there and then they almost get on the attack they don't mean to they really are more well-meaning than it seems but they are sort of striving for a sort of empathy they want you to come over there so that you can have a conversation with them and part of you the physical part of you would sort of like to go over there too so then we say reassuring things to you such as you cannot uplift from your place of not being uplifted in other words we like to tell the story that if you were walking around along a mountain ledge with two friends and one of them was very clumsy and and the other one was very sure-footed and you had twisted your foot or fallen over the edge and you were hanging by a flimsy vine which of those two people would you be glad is there and and so you your greatest value to everyone that you know and you are a teacher to the very core of your being your greatest value to everyone that you know and those that you are coming to know is in your alignment so then you say but it, it, like so p people so often say it's lonely at the top and we say it's lonely at the higher vibrations if you are looking for numbers but if you are understanding that the feeling of loneliness just like every other negative emotion is not about the absence of something that is physical or someone that is physical rendezvousing with you that feeling of loneliness is about you thinking a thought that holds you in a vibrational frequency that's different from the thought that your inner being thinks so let's talk about moments when you feel that strong feeling of loneliness coming on let's say that you're watching someone who is not joyful someone that you care about who you want to be joyful and as our psychotherapist friend that we talked to earlier you you are you're unwilling really to walk over there all the way and teach them what you know because you understand that on vibrational basis they're not going to hear you anyway you've tried that you've tried to explain they're they're sort of rooted in their beliefs and mm -hmm. they're not coming to where you're right. coming and so I have to go so you and and you're going over there isn't going to help them anyway but but in this process of this in this process of seeing this person not feeling good you have put the new and improved version of them which means the better feeling version of them you have put the better ver feeling version of them in your vibrational escrow and so there they are and the broader part of you has focused upon the better better feeling version of them but you in your human form are not focused upon the better feeling version of them you're looking at them where they are and in doing so you've separated yourself from who you are and you're blaming them or at least giving them right. the credit for right. for that and so and then you come to the conclusion 
that this is a feeling of loneliness that I'm having because they don't get me mm -hmm. or because they don't get what they need to get in order to feel better. And we say it's a feeling of loneliness that is a feeling of negative emotion that is present because you're looking at them in a way that the broader part of you is not now looking at them. The broader part of you, your exposure to them caused you to expand your version of them. Mm -hmm. They, in what you observed them lived, caused you to give birth to an expanded version of them that you're not living up to. Mm -hmm. True upliftment is living up to the expanded version of people that you have seen, you see. And, and they're not going to help you because they're not in the expanded version of them. So they're over there living life the way they've been living, complaining about the things that they've been complaining about. They're, they're not helping you out at all. And we can see how it would feel uncomfortable that you might even feel resentment or anger or loneliness about not being able to just grab them and drag them over right. there where they belong. That's what I'm trying but we to want do. you to understand <laughs> as you let go of that need to control what's going on with them. And as you say things to yourself, such as it's temporary. And that part of them is really none of my business. This part of them is what I want to give my undivided attention to. Before you know it, you will discover that as you come into alignment with your expanded, better feeling version of them and you maintain it consistently, you, you maintain that positive, optimistic because mm -hmm. you practice it when you're not with them. As, you, as this version of them becomes even only slightly, not a paradigm shift, mm -hmm. just even slightly more dominant in your vibrational encounter. In, in your vibrational beingness than where they are what will happen is law of attraction will start lining you up with this version of them rather than this version of them you'll just you'll be zigging and zagging and missing that version of them and you'll be hooking up with this version of them you know how so many people are manic depressive they feel good one day and or one minute and not good the next and there are some subjects they feel good about and some subjects that they feel bad about in other words mm -hmm. they're up and down and all over the place well law of attraction knows where they are and when they are there and mm -hmm. law of attraction and if you're maintaining your vibrational alignment with the new and improved version of them, law of attraction is going to give you the impulse to call them when they're there with you, going to cause you to meet them in the grocery store when you're there with, when they're there with you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. People can walk down the same street in the same city with different vibrations going on within them and have in two entirely different experiences walking down the street, rendezvousing with different people. Some people will be invisible to one and other people will be invisible to another. Law of attraction says that your world is as unique as your vibrational perspective in any moment in time. Mm -hmm. So as you clean up your vibration, your world begins to reflect how you're feeling. So when you say they make me feel lonely, we say they're just a reflection of your discordant vibration with who you really are. And as you understand that and start working to bring yourself into alignment, then no one ever makes you feel bad. Your feelings become unhurtable. And it's not lonely. It, there is no inkling of loneliness in steady alignment.